Georgia football, everything Kirby Smart said after the Bulldogs' victory over Georgia Tech. After two quarters of play on Saturday, the Georgia Bulldogs found themselves in a low-scoring slugfest with Georgia Tech. Come the third quarter, the Bulldogs capitalized on two crucial mistakes by the Yellow Jackets to put the game out of reach. Georgia cashed in on a bobbled snap by Georgia Tech punter David Shanahan and a fumble by Yellow Jackets running back Jamie Felix to score 10 crucial points in the third quarter on its way to a 37-14 victory. The win featured an up-and-down showing by the Bulldogs, which trailed early and had issues on both sides of the ball before settling in and silencing their in-state rival. As a result of Saturday's victory, Georgia, 12-0, 8-0 SEC, has sealed back-to-back undefeated regular seasons and has delivered its fifth straight victory over Georgia Tech, 5-7, 4-4 ACC. The Bulldogs held a modest six-point lead early in the third quarter when a mistake on special teams by the Yellow Jackets gave the home squad an ample opportunity to extend its lead. Georgia Tech punter David Shanahan was unable to corral a low snap, which led to Shanahan trying to run upfield with the ball before being met by Georgia inside linebacker Tresman Marshall. Marshall's heads-up tackle resulted in a 13-yard loss for Georgia Tech and left the Georgia offense needing only 17 yards to find the end zone. It didn't come easy, but the Bulldogs made the most of the short field. Stetson Bennett came up just short of the goal line on a second-and-goal run, and after getting stopped again on third down the Bulldogs elected to try for the end zone. With Georgia's jumbo package on the field, Bennett faked a handoff and fired to a wide-open Brock Bowers, who managed to get his hands under an underthrown ball and catch it for a one-yard score. Georgia defensive tackle Nazir Stackhouse forced the ball out of Felix's hands on the first play of Georgia Tech's next possession, and outside linebacker Robert Beal fell on the loose ball to give the Bulldogs the ball on their own 25. This drive didn't have quite the success as the one that preceded it for Georgia, but the Bulldogs were able to go up 16 with Podolsny's 36-yard kick. The Bulldogs' dominance after halftime was an unwelcome change of pace for the Yellow Jackets, which outgained Georgia 187-153 to in the first half then mustered all of one yard in the third quarter. By the fourth quarter, the Bulldogs could do no wrong. Bennett hit Kenny McIntosh down the left sideline for an 83-yard gain, Georgia's biggest passing play of the season, to quickly turn what was a Georgia drive backed up on its own one-yard line into one with real promise. McIntosh turned that promise into points on the very next play, pushing forward to cross the goal line for a two-yard touchdown.